Instead of nine, so we'll get the fluid through your system. When you're at the gym, you'll be squeezing out fluid anyways. So we'll kind of take advantage of that. Obviously, like you can sip on water afterwards, right? Yeah. Um, like you're gonna need some type of water, <laughs> especially with your meals. So around like your real timing, meal timing, not real timing. Yeah, just around the wheel. Let's get another two grams of vitamin C in tonight. Mm -hmm. We'll get another meal in after the gym, about four ounces of fluid around that meal timing for sure, maximum eight ounces, <clears throat> and then just let the water pull out. Just text that to me, yeah? Yeah, yeah, let me text it right now. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm trying to um, remember, but. <laughs> my, we should do a magnesium flush tonight too. Okay, So. 2,000? Yeah. Uh, for some reason when I was on prep, I don't know why this popped up. You know, like when you're on prep, you want to eat everything. And uh, Joe Rogan said, and he's like, you got to try it. And he tells Elon Musk, he says, double anchovy and double pepperoni, pineapple. And I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I wanted to try it. <laughs> I'm like, thinking, I'm thinking double anchovy and double. I like pineapple pizza, actually. But really? I never had anchovy in a pizza. I think I would probably not like that. But they order it right there in the studio, and like you see, Elon Musk takes a bite, and he's like, "Yeah, it's pretty good." <laughs> <laughs> but he, I think it's like Joe Rogan is like, it's like so high all the time, like everything tastes good to him. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, for fats total today, I'm probably I'm around like 20 grams only. Dude, yeah, it's good. Get with a tablespoon of uh, butter. I want to get you closer to 40 grams by end of day. Okay. Just to open up the glycogen storage, you're not going to put on weight from it. So yeah. the good thing is, as soon as you hit weigh-ins, we can start eating. Yeah. So that's great, actually. I prefer an earlier weigh-in. I'd rather us suffer and wake up early. Yeah. You eat and take a nap and calm. And then, like, every single time you wake up, basically, like, we get a meal in it. And yeah. then we reassess, so get a meal in Exactly. Meal, pose. Meal, pose. Move the body. This is the least tired I've been the day of before. Yesterday I was really tired though. Yesterday you were I was tired. Mm. Today, but today I was, I'm feeling much like, better. He was like, oh, I'm gonna take a nap. And then I'm like, okay, let's take a nap. I'm all excited. And then he's like, oh, he's like, oh no, I'm not tired. <laughs> Yeah, so I actually I, wasn't tired today. I also, and I brought my blood pressure cuff. I will bring it over tomorrow and leave it here. So you can check your basically resting heart rate, your blood pressure, stuff like that. If our heart rate gets too high, I have beta blockers with me too. All the beta blockers do, they slow the heart rate. How are you feeling digestion wise? A little bit better? Yeah, I mean, we do a little pose. Uh, go through the poses real quick. Or we'll okay. A couple poses and then we'll get some blood circulating at the gym or something. Perfect. Ugh. Turn. Drop your right hand down further. Right hand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In front of the belly button. Down further. Good. Core turn. Pull shoulders forward more. Yup. Now lock down the adults. Chest up. Good. Right there. Hold. All right. Relax for one second. I want to go back into it. Chest up more. Don't rotate forward so much. With it. Yeah, right there. Relax. I want to see you do your original way one more time, just so I can see it. We'll play with it tomorrow. Okay, cool. Come in front. Front no bicep. Hips back, especially that side. Relax. Good. I'm not gonna pose you super hard right now. Don't lose the glutes. Good. Hold it. That's great. That, that makes a massive difference. Like it just opens you up so much more. It actually makes you look more classic. The it's hands. Like, the hands. Yeah, I mean the space that I see now and it, you don't lose the density either. So like you, you lose no density at all. In fact, it makes you look more dense and muscular. And you have such good serratus and, and abs that you show more of that off too. Relax. Good. Yup, right there. Good. 
relax. I actually like your glutes tucked in. Like they look really, really good right now. Take your time. I pinch the thickest part on the body to see how much fat is left and how much water is left. So if it's going to smush, that's water. If it doesn't smush, that's fat. So that's how you can dictate how much water you can pull before you start losing tissue. And that's always the catch 22 is how much water do you pull out of the muscle tissue versus the subcutaneous layer. Abs and thighs? Abs and thighs. Let's do it. Sink. Yeah, good. <sighs> I like that. So um, side into that. The dead on shot is fine, but you get very crunchy forward. Okay. But when you do it from the side, one, I see your upper glute. So you show your upper glute right here and the sweep and everything else like that. And then you show the serratus all the way through. Okay. I think that's just a sick shot on you. So I think it's normal ab and thigh, staggered legs, hip sink back, rotate in, obliques. Okay. One more time. I just want to see the rotation. Second. Okay, money. All right, take a breath. Classic. Let's do it. Elbow towards me. That hit back. Toes too far out. This one? Yep, your toes too far out, your knee was too far out. So, toe and then the rotation. So, right? And so you, were, um, you were basically angle this direction, so I couldn't even see the sweep, and you also were not able to pull out your lines at all. <laughs> He's like the only person out here to pull off that shot. Him, you and Chris, relax. Done. We're out for now. We'll do it tomorrow. off the plane about five six hours ago i usually like to hit the sauna uh when i come off the plane just to flush out all the toxins and water also helps me to sleep better uh just kind of get back to a base level and uh yeah so tomorrow we got weigh-ins and then friday we compete but i feel great right now everything's going as planned <laughs> there we go better that's really good Good. Quarter turn. That's perfect on that side. Front the bicep. Hit. Uh, and that's it? Yeah, so th so this right hip, uh, I just need you to sink that one back a little bit further to pull yeah, out that. I just uh, be aware with that right hip to sink it back. So we get on which one? Right hip, sink it back to get the lines out. That's the only side that you're having issues putting it back a little bit. Breathing, focus on the breathing. So you can hold the poses through the diaphragm, very relaxed, the chest up, high. Okay. Uh, right now we are good with the 90 grams of carbs. Okay. So we can do, or we can do two servings, just make it easy. Two servings on it. You have salmon on the way, one tablespoon of nut butter. Let's not go super heavy on the sodium for this meal. Let's just do normal amount of salt for this meal. And then um, this meal, two grams of, from now on. Why two, did you close this? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna text me? I'm like, this is Mia. Why are you touching your? Oh wait, wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> why are you touching your phone? That was. <laughs> you want me to text you? One meal, not cool. Okay, I got, okay, I got yeah. it. Sometimes you're like, so 90 this. grams of carbs, six ounces of salmon, two servings, two servings, which is 70 grams of carbs. Correct. We're gonna do one serving of nut butter, mm -hmm. the six ounces of salmon, which is a good amount of fat, and then we're gonna go a normal amount of sodium. The salmon will probably have a decent amount of salt or some salt on it, at least. Maybe not. No, actually. they just make it's it plain bad. unless you ask them for put. To put salt on. Okay, sips as needed. I'll recheck you at 6.30. Okay. Um, two grams of SRC with this meal, 400 milligrams of magnesium. When was your last bowel when you sec when you texted? Yeah, that was it, yeah. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, pooping by this point is like, <laughs> sucks my life. <laughs> when you're back from the meet and greet, I think we're gonna hit another like two grams of magnesium. Okay. Just to keep things moving because it did take about 16 hours for you to get movement. So I just wanna keep whatever we're putting in, getting out the door. Anything that's not holding, right? Sounds good. Perfect. All right, but you look phenomenal right now. Like you are full right now. But we still have, we can still have a little bit more room to fill, but not much more. And dry out. Actually. And dry out, yes. Sounds good. Thank you guys for coming. has always been something that was just super near and dear for me. For me, it wasn't only just sentimental for the fact that I want to do that. I was sitting in quite opposite shoes where I was the coach watching my athlete on stage. One of the first things Damien said when he stepped off stage when we were talking after the night show, Arnold Schwarzenegger was looking at him smiling and shaking his head up and down like, heck yes. Dylan! Son of a bitch. This is what bodybuilding is. And it was Arnold Schwarzenegger, like of all people. Not only that, but he was sixth place at his first Arnold Classic ever. Last year was a very emotional year where he was second place and just missed his Olympia qualification by one place. Then he was third place. And then at the third show together, we ended up walking away with an Olympia qualification. I was in tears. Wife Carrie was in tears. He was in tears. It was a very emotional ride for us. We keep moving up the ranks in a very quick, rapid way. And I think we really did catch people off guard of this show with how good he looked. We've always had a very unique process and we manipulate some variables every single time, getting better and better. This was honestly a dream come true and it felt like we were living in a dream. It's almost hard to conceptualize and grasp how amazing this was. We were on the biggest stage in the world. There's only 12 athletes in every single division that gets to show up and it's by invite only. On top of that, it's always amazing spending time with family and friends. Damien and I have built a brotherhood in a very short period of time. He's truly family to me, not just a friend, not just an athlete of mine. At the end of the day, this makes the experience that much better. And I truly do believe that great coaching requires a amazing and strong fundamental relationship where communication is there. And we tag team this thing together because he is an amazing athlete and great athletes know their bodies better than anyone else. So we work together, we come up with a plan, we modulate the plan as needed, and that's what it's there for is teamwork makes the dream work. Damien is such an amazing person and an amazing athlete, and I'm so excited for our future together. When we got together, we already had a rocket ship. All we did was throwing some fuel into that fire and off to Mars we go. We're seeing if we can beat Elon there. Well, a lot of you all think that you guys are going to see us at the Olympia. We'll actually catch you guys a little bit sooner and we'll be at the Legion Sports Festival. See y'all soon. But they order it right there in the studio. And like, you see Elon Musk takes a bite and he's like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>